to the project, it'll still populate on the income statement like normal, but it'll also populate in here so I can see it, each of these projects tracking uh, by the project. Now, also, it would be nice if I can break out my income statement by project, which would, so if I run my income statement report, if I was to run it, if you select uh, the drop down, we've got the uh, product and services, we've got, well, I'm sorry, here we've got the vendors or customers. So we can break out the basically the income statement in essence by customer, which could include, say, the sub customers. So that's where the sub customers can come into play. Let's add another uh, tab. I'm going to right click and duplicate a tab so we can look at possibly a project report. And then we're going to go to the reports on the left hand side, close up the hamburger, and I'm going to type in project. So we have a project profitability summary report. Nothing's currently in it at this point in time, but there you have it. Now, notice that when you think about the projects, notice that when you're looking at one individual project, it's great to be going in here and being able to see what is happening within a particular project and run reports for that particular project. However, it's often the case that you that you will want to run a report for a job cost system that has all of the projects, right, that are that are that are currently in play. And so that's why you might it be it's nice to be able to, to run a report that's going to have basically all the projects that should tie into basically your income statement when you're trying to do like your financial reporting. So so the thing that if I go back on over here, the thing that this report does great is it gives you more of an an isolated view on each individual project in its own little its own little space here. But when you do external reporting and uh, then and financial statement creation, then you're you still want, might want to be running reports, which is going to be breaking out basically all of your projects. Again, we'll get into that in more detail. Uh, in, in future courses or sections on, that are focused more on projects and job cost systems in particular. Okay, so we have the overview. So on the overview, we've got the income and the expenses. We've got the invoices, the expenses, bills, and hours that we can have. These are the transactions by the project, the time activity, and the, pro the project reports for the particular project. And then you've got the attachments that we can add we have the drop down up top so it says not started completed or uh, canceled so we can s change the uh the status of the project we can go back to the all projects up top and that takes us to our home page which will typically go in if i open the hamburger whenever we directly go into the projects and so now the home page has the status drop down so if i go to all status or if i went to canceled there's nothing in it the only thing in it right now is the in progress and then we have customers we only have the one customers so we could sort by customers if we so choose and then the employee rates so the hourly cost and the payroll expenses and then we can go into the particular project as we were before going into the project and now we're inside that particular project Let's just do one more. I'm going to go back to the projects so we can just see two projects in here and mirror them to the sub customers. So I'm going to say new project up top and I'm going to say this is going to be, I'm just going to call it uh, project two, project two, and then I'm going to link it to, this is an asterisk field, I have to have it, to Sam the guitar man, not to the sub customer, but I just want to compare and contrast the differences between a project and a sub customer. So we're going to say there it is and I'm going to say the start date is in the beginning of January again and it is once again in progress. So we're going to go ahead and save it. And so there it is. So it opens up and now we're inside the project. I'm going to go back to the all projects. So now when we go into this field, we see our two projects and we can go in there individually. So if I open up my hamburger, note that although these projects are tied to customers, as you can see, they have their own area outside of the customer uh, center, which if I go to the, to the customer center is in the sales area. So if I go to the sales area and then customers, you can see we basically tied a project to Jones and Sam the Guitar Man uh, 
and and that can be found separately in you know the projects area over there and then these two are the sub customers so that's going to but when we get into the billing of the projects it's going to be bill two the uh jones it's going to you know the, the the project one to jones guitars and project two to uh sam the guitar man so that's the general idea we'll do some a little bit of uh, billing to the particular projects. We'll play with some time and look a little bit at the differences between the sub customers and the projects. But again, we get into it in a lot more detail in uh, future courses and sections that specialize in a job cost type of system. The main thing I just wanna point out with these is make sure if you're working in this area, the first thing you gotta get down is kind of the terminology. A job cost system is gonna use the term jobs but they could use jobs to refer to the QuickBooks tool that we're using, which could have been the old jobs in the desktop version, which are now called sub customers in the new version. And the sub customers, the coolest newest thing is to convert the sub customers generally to the, to the projects. So the projects are basically kind of like the jobs uh, now that now have their own kind of place within, the, within QuickBooks, their own portal within QuickBooks. That's kind of like the general overview. Now there's nothing happened to the reports. We haven't entered anything new. So the trial balance is still standing. We're still standing on those same two legs. We haven't even moved. We're just standing still here, just hanging out, listen to your babble, just standing there watching your babble. So there it is.